So good morning, everyone. So exciting times in the C-Series. Uh, what could be better? We have our launch operator, Swiss, uh, here with us today. We have both C-Series uh, doing their uh, debut here at uh, Le Bourget. And uh, we have phenomenal performance to share with you today. So I'm a happy man today. Next slide, please. Okay, so we're going to do three main topics, basically about the, uh, the performance. So I'm happy to announce that we've beaten our brochure. And this is no small feat. It's after a lot of hard work and dedication listening to our customers. We're able to actually uh, announce that our performance at entry into the service is going to be better than our brochure. And I'll take you to the details. I'll also update you on the progress towards our certification. And uh, we'll also talk about our plans for entry into the service. So basically, this is a scorecard. Uh, all the key items that you see in our brochure. So you're going to see our fuel burn is better. And that's basically on the aircraft side. We're better at performing both on the aerodynamics and also on the, uh, on the performance engine. Um, actually, very happy to announce also is on specification. Uh, payload range, much better than uh, we actually announced at the beginning of the program. And you're going to see actually we have more passengers that we can carry. We have the best cabin in the industry, and you're going to have the chance to visit outside today. Uh, the cabin is here. You'll have a chance to go and see it for yourselves. But the customers will love it. Absolutely, widest seats, biggest cabin, aisles, and the bins. You'll have a chance to, uh, to benefit on that. Also, on the runway performance, uh, actually better than, than the brochure. And uh, on the noise, of course, we're already leading the industry, and uh, we're absolutely on track for that. Next slide, please. Basically, so this is the scorecard. This is the, the data in the brochure when we launched the program back in 2008. So basically, we have a question. How many actually all new aircraft uh, can beat their brochure uh, performance? Answers? No. Next slide. Zero. There are two. C-Series 100, C-Series 300. So you can see the data for yourself. So on the, on the uh, range, uh, we actually have uh, 3,300 nautical miles of range, which is great. So it'll offer the customers, of course, more uh, routes that they can serve and more uh, market coverage. Uh, you can see in the passenger counts from when we launched, uh, we have eight more passengers on the CS100 and 15 more on the CS300. Uh, Fuel burn, 20% advantage, and of course, uh, ahead of the game as well, over 15% on the cash on credit cost. So to be honest, very proud to be able to announce this of course, uh, programs like this are very challenging to have these numbers. It's very encouraging. Next slide. So a bit more details. So on the range, uh, 350 nautical miles. Um, this is also for the CS300. You see the 25% more coverage. You look at the area that we could uh, cover. And of course, what that means for customers, again, more market access. And also, you can have more passengers on board, which ultimately, more revenue in the bottom line for our customers. Next slide, please. On the cabin, so again, you'll have the chance. It's gonna take a few minutes. It is by far, without question, the best cabin in the single aisle industry, and even competes with the uh, super dual aisle and larger aircraft. We have the largest bins, the widest seats in the industry. We're 18 and a half inches, or 19 for the middle. So that's uh, far beyond anyone else. And we offer that also with a 20 inch aisle. We have the largest windows in the single aisle Actually, industry, these windows are the same size as the 777. We've applied it actually to a single aisle aircraft. And again, you'll have a chance to visit and experience this for yourselves. But I can tell you in the end, as a flying passenger, I'm a big guy. I'm going to love to fly in this aircraft, and, and so will you. Next slide. Uh, this is some, some of the data you can see against our competitors. You can see that uh, basically Boeing has a 17-inch, uh, Airbus has 18, which they promote, and we agree with them, wider is better. And we're actually even better, we're 18 and a half or 19 inches. And again, we offer the widest aisle in the industry at uh, 20 inches. So, great numbers on the box, fuel burn, already 1% better than brochure, and more to come. So we actually have uh, opportunities, real opportunities, to increase by another 4%, and that's a combination on the engine and also on the aerodynamic airframe side. And of course, it is a new platform, even though we did a great job getting to where we are. It is still a new platform, and there's always, you look at the industry, room to improve as we go forward. So, really uh, satisfied with that as well. Certification. <coughs> I'll give you a quick update on the progress of the development, where we are. So, basically, we have uh, six aircraft in the flight test program. 
I'm happy to say that we're tracking to our flight rates and also we have a very high reliability that we have, which of course uh, helps a lot in getting those uh, rates in. Uh, so you can see we're on track to certify the CS100 by the end of this year. And as uh, we've always said, the CS300 also uh, is approximately six months later and is following very, very closely to the CS100. So in terms of flight hours, you can see that um, basically we're now uh, approaching 1,900 hours total and we're uh, over 1,700 hours on the CS100 and we're about 150 hours on the 300. Again, all on track with our plans for this year. A uh, couple of things, I'm not going to go through the details, but these are just a scorecard. Basically the message here is we've finished all the significance uh, we call uh, deterministic and uh, higher risk tests that you do at the beginning of the program. Again, I'm happy to say they've all been successfully completed. Uh, what's left from here to the end of the program is really the validation, and it's really just about executing to the plan, but the majority of all the uh, flight test risks are behind us, so that's also a great news. Um, structural testing, uh, we're actually already 30,000 cycles completed, uh, so that's very advanced and uh, more than double what's required for CERT, so we have a check on that one. Also from the aircraft side, the structural testing at the aircraft level also successfully completed. And uh, I'm going to share the next slide in a minute. So. Thank you. You're faster than me, yeah? Actually, this is a key technology for us. It's our uh, all-new 100% carbon fiber wing, which was developed uh, by Bombardier in the Belfast site. The guys did a great job. So we did have a problem with that test. Did you know what, what the problem was? It didn't break it. It didn't break, exactly. So uh, really good news, by the way. This was planned to break to see the growth of the wing. So the problem was it didn't break. The good news is we have lots of growth left. So in the previous slide where I showed you there's room to grow, you can see for yourselves. Next slide. So where are we overall? So in the numbers, we're now uh, basically <coughs> over 70% completed in a certification, and again, uh, tracking to the plan. So really satisfied with those numbers. Next slide is uh, really getting ready for entering the service. So next slide. Our teams have been working, of course, since the beginning of the program on getting ready for entering the service. We worked very closely with Swiss since the beginning, not only in the flight deck, as Peter mentioned, but also in the development of the whole aircraft, and uh, really satisfied how that's progressing, you can see the check marks. So basically tech pubs already uh, published, uh, the maintenance manuals approved the authorities already. Uh, we've done the initial uh, familiarization training and uh, that went very well. And uh, so basically all this is uh, you know following the plan and then we're getting ready to uh, enter the service of course with the Swiss. So I must say that I'm very satisfied to have uh, Swiss as our launch operator. They've been a great partner on the program. They have great strengths uh, in, I guess, all aspects, so we're very fortunate. Thank you very much. So I'm going to pass over to uh, Mr. Harry Holmeister, who will give an update on the entry and the service for Swiss. Thank you very much.